What's going on guys? It's Access Team Nocturnal. Here to show you a new ROM we made today. This is a Nocturnal Ginger. It is a gingerbread based ROM. 100% uh, open source for the Evo 4G. Um, basically, um, I know there's a lot of open source ROMs out there. Um, a lot of them have themes or supposedly have tweaks or whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> but the concept of this ROM was to have something that just works. Um, my girlfriend has this phone, the HTC Evo 4G, and uh, she's always complained about her phone being slow or the ROM she has is just flaggy or buggy or the lock screen don't work or she has to do a battery pull, etc. etc. So I got tired of hearing all the complaints. So basically what I did was um, I took a CM7 source this morning, um, modified it to my likings, and uh, I tweaked it a little bit. Speed up the cord a little bit, clean out some blowware, and um, here's the ROM. Um, so here we go. We have st it's a stock CM7 ROM, uh, well base, so it's pretty much just stock, pure Android. Um, I removed some blowware like I said earlier. Um, I gave it the stock Android launcher, launcher two. So there's no there's no special launcher in here, no theme launcher. It's just a regular launcher. You can change out if you want. Um, it's got your stock themes. When you first boot the ROM up, it's going to have the Mixer theme on here as default. The mixer theme is made by Mr. DSL. So you can always Google Mixer by Mr. DSL and uh, you'll find his thread on XDA. Real good themes. He makes all kinds of themes. He's really good at that. Uh, so props to him. Um, we do have permission for him to use his theme in our ROM. So we use it in uh, Nocturnal Explode um, SE, which is was also an open source uh, project. Um, so you have in that. Uh, we also have um, Dark Horse by K Funk in here, which is a great theme also. Um, I believe it's the latest build, but I have to double check on that. So we have Dark Horse by K Funk in here. Then we have um, an ice cream sandwich theme also that comes with the ROM. So I'll show you that real quick. So the plan of theme, so there's Dark Horse for you. Nice, clean, cool. Um, <clears throat> let me go back down to the theme chooser here. Then there's a there's ice cream sandwich theme, which is well, you know how ice cream sandwich looks, so it's gonna look like that, except for the launcher part. You want to get a launcher to make that pop up. Um, and then there's a mixer theme, which comes stock. So once you flash it around, you're gonna see the mixer theme as soon as you boot it. The mixer theme, my favorite theme out there, is really cool. It, he themes everything. He themes launcher so you have a theme launcher too you have the theme um aw launcher you have a theme um launcher pro and if you pop it on if you use an explode open source explode and you pop this theme on there he even themed our launcher which is really cool so props to him on that you have a white theme now i made this last year back when i was uh back when i had my evo 4g and it's basically is a nice white theme it's really cool um, it's clean. It, I like it. So it's for people who like white themes. Then you got your stock, your stock gingerbread theme. Um, let's see. So also we have the wi Wi-Fi Tether app on here, and it works pretty good. You have your stock, uh, your Sprint voicemail, which I ripped out off the Evo 3D. Um, this is the latest voicemail app. It works great. I I've called the phone, left the voicemail, it popped up. You still get the text message message coming up, um, the phantom text. I'll take care of that later down the road. Um, for now, it's still there. Um, you got your spare parts, so you can speed the ROM up. You can speed up like animation, for example. You can go fast, slow, normal, whatever you want to do. Let's see. We got the new Google Play Store. That's on here. It's working just fine. So there's that. That's the replacement for the market for those of you who haven't updated yet. Uh, you have your settings app, so you can go ahead here and adjust your settings. You know your lock screen, the performance, the uh, overclock the ROM, add more icons to your drop down, etc. So you have all that stuff in, right in here in the settings, in the advanced settings. Then we have um, your phone app, your, we have optimized tool locks. This is the English version. Uh, if you go on the market and update this, it's going to be in Chinese. So uh, I recommend you do not update this app when you when it pops up because it's going to ask you when you first uh, open it, you want to update to version 2.3.0, I believe. 
Uh, unless they made it in English, but I doubt it because it's been Chinese for the past couple months. Um, you got your stock music app. Um, you got your stock message app. Let's see what else you got here. You Google search your gallery. We have font installer. So if you want to change your fonts on the phone, you can go ahead and hit that and you can download the fonts you want. And as you see, as you download, it updates the font. So you just pick a font you want here, hit the font you want, apply, reboot. When you reboot, you go to the new font on your phone. Um, you have ES File Explorer. This is my favorite uh, Explorer app because it, uh, it's easy to use. You can mount your system, unmount your system, delete, remain, open uh, zip files, do all kind of cool stuff. You get your DSP manager, your download manager, developable tools, contacts, your uh, clock, car, home, camera, calendar, calculator, browser books, ADV wireless. ADV wireless, I haven't tested yet. Um, I've never even used it, but others do use it, so I'll throw it in there for, for the hell of it. If you guys use it and say this doesn't work, let me know so I can remove it or try and fix it. Um, Pilsen and browser doesn't work. As you can see, the browser working just fine now. I fixed that issue, so the browser is good. And um, it has it comes with custom widgets. Um, they all work. It has uh, the stock wallpaper still. I haven't changed that wallpaper yet. So you go to gallery and it's got all this all the stock wallpapers. What the hell? Oh. Wrong, I'm sorry, not gallery. Um, shoot, it's late night. I uh, hit wallpapers. There you go, and you have all your stock wallpapers from you know, your open source. I'll change that later on. I'll put some nice high resolution wallpapers in for you guys. Something that you know really stands out. But uh, that'll be on the product release. This is still on private beta, so I haven't really updated a whole lot of the theme part of the ROM. I'm not going to theme the ROM itself. I'm just going to add themes in there. That way, if you guys want a 100% stock looking ROM, boom, you just go ahead and apply it and you're done. So I'm not going to ruin that, that for you because I know a lot of people out there be theming a ROM and they're like, oh, well, because you, know, you got a theme gingerbread ROM and it's called this and it has you know, tweaks or something. Yeah, whatever. Um, but this ROM is actually tweaked for performance. I've personally gone in there and worked on the core of the ROM to speed it up. Um, clean up a lot of bloatware that came with it, remove some apps here and there, um, edit the scripts and all that good stuff. Um, it's got the new Google Talk with with video. You got your camera there. Uh, it's not going to be sideways, it's going to be right side up like it should be or you know however you point it, it's going to be you know wherever you want it. It's not going to be like upside down or like Sense has where it's like sideways or it's all distorted. So don't worry about that, that's fine. Uh, Wi-Fi works, 4G works, GPS works. I'll show you the GPS real quick. I'm going to Google Maps here. So there's your, there's your map coming up. And GPS should pop up in a minute here. There's your GPS right there working. And you see we're locked on target here. We're on my current location. Um, let's see what else we got here. That's pretty much it really. Um, if you have any issues with this ROM, just let me know. Um, if you're a beta tester, just pop in the beta threads, post a reply there, and I'll fix whatever is wrong with it. Um, if you want to be a beta tester, um, you can send me a private message on Team Nocturnal and uh, let me know why you want to be a beta tester, um, and I'll, I'll let you know if you get approved or not. Pretty much what we need is people that are going to be active in the community, and that want to help out, or you want to give ideas, or you want to, you want to be part of the development of, of this ROM or any other ROMs we have, feel free to you know, send me an app, and uh, you know we'll go through from there. We'll talk over and see what you want to do. Um, there's a change log in here. If you go to Advanced Settings, you go down to uh, where is it? It's uh, shoot, the system. Yeah, go down Advanced Settings System, and you can view change log, and you can view the updates. Or where it's the same thing you're gonna find a thread, you're gonna find this change log here. Whatever we do, where we fix it we do, boom, it'll be right in there for you. So you got that. Um, I'll post links in the bottom of this video. You can check those out. I'll post a link to this thread. So if you're already a beta test and you click on that link, log in, boom. You can download the ROM, flash your G apps and all that good stuff, and you could go from there. Um, you can flash other G apps if you want. I did provide our own G apps which are updated, so they're updated as of today. Uh, March 20th 
Um, so you're, you're, you're going to worry about you know updating your market or not stuff. If you want older GFs, you can flash GFs from any any open source CM7 ROM you want. It don't matter. They're all going to work. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is Nocturnal Ginger. Uh, just a ROM that works. You know, no no crap, no bloatware, no lag, no issues. Just something that works. Don't crash. Boots up. Makes phone calls. You your data. You can go on Facebook, do it how you want to do. Don't have to worry about, you know, well, this is slow, that's slow. Um, it's very customizable. And like I said, if you want to be a part of this development, send me a PM and we'll go from there and uh, talk it over. Again, it's Excess Magical with Team Eternal.